Hey guys, it's Melanie and Alf. Happy Friday. We hope that you are having a great day. There are no Friday favorites and flops today. So, um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I usually pre-film my videos like a day in advance or a few days in advance. Um, not for the Friday faves, but the Friday faves to usually get filmed on Thursday, put up on Friday, and um, that just did not happen yesterday. So, um, I figured an easy video for me to do today is uh, just a continuation of my candle collection series. Um, if you are a lover of the Friday Favorites and Flops series, it will be back next week, I promise. <laughs> I just was not feeling being in front of the camera today, so I'm going to stay behind it. <laughs> um, so this is going to be, uh, again, a continuation of my candle collection series that I started. The first video that I put up was of my Bath & Body Works candle collection. By the way, after I filmed that video, I did decide that um, I was going to bring back the multiples that I had purchased during SAS of the blends candles. Not because I don't like them or because I thought they were bad candles. I just, um, I was so proud of how small my Bath & Body Works candle collection had gotten. And adding all of those like multiples really kind of made it uh, explode again. And um, I'm really trying to get away from that. I really, <laughs> that is something that has been very important to me to just whittle my collections down to a more reasonable amount. And I will say my backup Kringle candle collection that I'm showing you guys here, I am very comfortable with this. Um, by the way, it's not just these two uh, crates down here. It's also this one up here and this one up here. But as you can see, um, these are not even completely filled. So this is very much the size of collection that I am comfortable with and I would like to maintain it right around here. Now I feel like I can very easily do that with Kringle because they are a candle company where if they do like a release for like the season like just the regular like summer season or fall season um it is pretty rare that things sell out oftentimes things are restocked um now obviously if there is a special edition limited collection that is released like a lot of their halloween stuff sells out very quickly so if you're a halloween person and you like to purchase backups you would probably want to get those backups when the candles are first released. Um, but for the most part, if Kringle puts out a candle that is a part of like just a regular season release, you can expect that to be available for the entirety of the season. So for me, I feel very comfortable just kind of purchasing as I need from Kringle versus like stocking up. That being said, I do have a few Sicilian oranges in my collection because that is one of my favorite scents from them. And um, I don't know, I just like having at least a couple of those on hand. So definitely um, that is the one fragrance that I have more than two of <laughs> at any given time. Um, but even with the Sicilian orange, I could order that as needed. So um, I like to store my candles all over the house. I believe that I kind of talked about this a little bit in my Bath and Body Works candle collection video. If you missed that one, I will link it in the description box down below. Um, with that particular video, I was holding the camera and so the footage was a little bit wonky because I had to use the iMovie stabilization mode and um, I didn't realize that that would make the, uh, the video kind of, I don't know, like wobble. <laughs> It was weird. Anyway, first time I tried that, probably the last time I will <clears throat> use that particular feature. I don't know what I'm doing with editing, so um, sorry if that particular video made you kind of ill. I promise this one will be a little bit smoother. I do have the camera on the tripod, so we've got that going for us today. Um, but yeah, I like to store my candles sort of all over the house. Wherever there is room, um, I, I will I will store some home fragrance. So this cabinet here is actually in my office. Um, I used to, I have, I have a couple of cabinets like this on either side of like the desk portion of my situation in here. Um, 
So I used to use this particular one to store uh, extra vases. Um, if you're new here, I am a florist. I used to mostly do weddings. Uh, I don't do weddings anymore, so I didn't have a need to store all of these extra vases. I just, I took all of those to Goodwill. So congratulations if you are in the area and you found some beautiful vases. <laughs> Um, yeah, I took a bunch of those vases and donated them, and so I had this empty cabinet, and I figured this was perfect for storing some candles. Um, if there is a, like, a cabinet like this in a house, or if we have a credenza or a, um, like, uh, a closet that has an available shelf, um, or I have, like, a piece of furniture from Ikea that has room in it, uh, it's it's gonna get filled with some type of home fragrance. So this was perfect for the storage of my Kringle candles because quite frankly, I do not want this Kringle candle collection to go outgrow this particular area right here. So this will help to definitely keep me in check. And um, that's something that I would suggest to you guys if you are trying to be more reasonable with your collections, just sort of set some parameters in place for yourself. and. I, you know, this is the tough part. You really have to like work hard to um, to maintain those parameters. I know how hard it is, you guys. Uh, yeah, it is. It's a constant struggle, especially if you are a lover of home fragrance and if you have a favorite candle company or a favorite fragrance from a company. Like, you're always afraid it's going to get discontinued, and so you know you always want to have your favorites, but. In reality, there's always amazing new things that come out. So if you can no longer get a candle that you really love, guess what? You're probably going to find another candle that you love just as much or, um, you know, you can find something similar. Uh, also, most candle companies do repackage things year after year like Bath and Body Works. So um, yeah, there's there's no need to have ridiculous collections, I guess, if you don't want to. Now, if you're someone that just loves collecting them because they make you happy and seeing all the candles brings you joy, then do that. Like, I'm just sharing that for me, like I've gotten to the point where um, seeing like a ton of like any given thing in my house just started stressing me out. I don't know if it's because I'm getting old I don't know. It could be a number of things, but every once in a while I have a meltdown about organization <laughs> and numbers of things and I make some changes. So that's what I decided to do. If you love your big collection, you enjoy that collection, you rock it, you burn what you want, you display what you want, you do whatever you want. It's it's totally up to you guys. So I'm not judging anyone. Um, I'm just kind of sharing my take. So let's go ahead and go through and see what I have in this stash. I'll kind of tell you why I have backups of these things. Um, and yeah, so th that'll be the the Crinkle collection. I am going to very gently get Alf off my lap here so that I can move around and show you guys these candles. I know, I'm sorry, buddy. This is like a huge bummer that I'm getting up. Sorry. Okay. We are going to start right over here with this little crate, and this is what I call my Kringle Gourmand crate. <laughs> um, these are mostly just foodie scents. Um, I have uh, the Marshmallow Morning here, which I really fell in love with, so there's one more behind that, and then one more right here. So I have three backups of the Marshmallow Morning because it is delicious. It's, to me, it smells just like Lucky Charms. I love it. Um, next to that, we have the Fruit and Flakes, which was uh, another cereal um, fragrance that Kringle came out with. And um, it's delicious. I love this one. It reminds me of another breakfast that I loved as a kid, which was Corn Flakes. <laughs> Um, really delicious. I do have two of those. There's another one right here. Um, and then this is Donut Worry. This one is, it's so yummy. It's, it smells a little bit more like a, like a cookie dough to my nose on cold sniff. Um, this doesn't have that like greasy donut note to it. It's just really, really yummy. In fact, I think I might be busting this one out here very shortly. 
to burn so um yeah that is this particular crate right here um I really love this one. I really love this one. If you have not tried either one, definitely worth looking into. Um, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, so I do have a discount code with them. Um, if you want to use it, I'll put the information in the description box down below. No pressure at all. It's just, it's if you guys want to use it. So um, I'm going to put this one back and I'm actually going to bring down the crate that lives in front of it here. And this one, as you can see, only has a few candles in here. The first is the lavender blueberry. This one is delicious. I already reviewed it. Um, and then I did purchase one backup of that because I just thought it was really delicious. I don't typically like lavender scents and that was one of the more enjoyable lavender scents that I have come across. This crinkle candle I got a long time ago and I've been meaning to review so I really need to light this one up. This is warm cotton. This is just a beautiful clean laundry scent. Really enjoy this one. And this one I never even reviewed. <laughs> I still need to light this one up. It is apple basil. So I think it smells really good. I think I might actually be at this point saving this one for September. September is sort of apple season in my book and um, this one would be a perfect transitional scent. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and save that for fall at this point. So there we go. I'm going to move you guys over just a little bit here so that I can scooch in and show you guys the crate next to it. So this one here has obviously some country candles. I have to admit the country candle line from Kringle is, it's not my favorite. I prefer their soy formula. The soy formula is incredibly clean burning. The strength and the throw I think are superior. Um, and I just, I don't know, I'm not a big paraffin candle person anymore. I just find it to be a lot more troublesome. Um, I find that they are more likely to soot and I just don't have those issues with the soy formula. So this one here is actually a leftover from last year that I never got around to filming a review of. It is pumpkin peppercorn. And this one smells really, really good. It's more of that like classic. It reminds me a little bit of pumpkin carving a little bit of pumpkin carving from Bath and Body Works. Not quite as intense, but very, very similar. So I am so looking forward to lighting this one up this fall. I really hope it comes back because it's a great scent. Hello, Alf. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> He's so sweet. Um, behind that, we have a backup of my Evergreen, uh, sorry, Orem and Evergreen. I loved this one last uh, holiday season. Oh, it's so good. I really hope that Mick brings this one back. I just thought this was so beautiful. And I think the label really spoke to me. It just was, I don't know, so pretty. All right. So what do we have in terms of country candles? So we have, oh, are you going to get your snores going? Oh, that would be great. I'm sure everyone would love to hear them. <laughs> we have apple cider cake. Now, I have, I, is it two apple cider cakes? Yes, I have two apple cider cakes. This one here is a warm apple pie. Okay, so I actually told Mick, <laughs> I was like, if there is only one scent that you bring over from Country Candle into the soy formula, it should be this one. Have you guys ever tried this? Oh, it smells so good. Uh, this just reminds me of something else. This is, um, it smells, oh, Alf, come on, buddy. <laughs> it smells a little bit like the Tarte to Tan from Yankee Candle, if you ever had the chance to sniff that one out. But this, it's just so warm and cozy. Like, this is the type of apple scent that I really like during the month of October. It's got, a, it's a little bit heavier on the spices. It's just delicious. Um, the apple note is uh, juicy and sweet and warm. 
man, I don't know. This one I think is just the perfect fall apple scent. I love this one and I would love to see this show up in the soy formula. I've never actually burned this one. <laughs> But I purchased one, really love the smell of it, purchased another, you see it back there. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and light these up this fall and I will review it, but this particular scent I think is the best that I've tried or smelled at least from um, the Country Candle or Kringle Candle line in terms of like apple fragrances. Now the apple, warm apple pie here is it's nice, but this is a little less focus on the apple and more, this is more like cinnamon and nutmeg. There's, there's like, there's a lot more spice to this one and I, I don't, I don't love that. So, um, but it's yummy, you know, um, it is good. This one here, I also did not review last year. Um, it's cinnamon buns. Now this one is quite delicious. It's a little bit weak on cold sniff, so um, I'm kind of curious to light it up. It's definitely a fall scent to me. It's very heavy on the cinnamon. It's delicious, but um, a little bit light, so we'll see how it performs. Again, I admittedly, you guys know I love Kringle, but I'm just not as into the country candles as I am their soy formula. And the soy formula is getting a little bit of a rework. Um, I've shared this with you guys already. So these were from last year. This is, um, I think I picked this up during a sale. This is apple cider donut. And this is the uh, soy blend formula here. So these three wick candles will hopefully be available in just the regular soy formula soon. Um, I know that Mick is working very hard to get that um, to be a thing. <laughs> so hopefully soon. Um, and then the other one that I uh, got and never reviewed last year was the spiced apple which it, this one is not really much apple to me. It's more of like a sweeter cinnamon scent. It's nice. I certainly look forward to lighting this one up, but I will say when, with this soy blend formula, I did experience um, some sooting. And so um, that's why I'm so excited to have the soy formula available in this three wick format because I think that that is going to give a lot more strength and throw to the soy formula. Obviously, when you have a two wick candle with a limited, um, you know, burn area, um, there is a difference here in terms of um, the size of the opening. You're going to get a lot more strength and throw out of something like this than you are out of something like this. So... I'm really excited for these um, three wicks to get released, hopefully very soon. All right, so I'm going to bring down the last crate. There are only two fragrances in here, so this one will go really quickly. Oof. Okay. Almost dropped that on Alf. <laughs> Poor guy. All right, so... We have one Watermelon Pops. I really did like this fragrance a lot. Um, I purchased the second one just to put in my candle crock. It's such a fun watermelon scent. It's definitely a more sweet, artificial, candied watermelon, but um, it's delicious. <laughs> so definitely enjoy that. In fact, I might be putting that into the candle crock that is in my filming room um, this next week. And then these other four that you see here, actually, I thought there was only three. There's four. <laughs> this is my beloved Sicilian orange. I love Sicilian orange from Kringle. This is a beautiful orange scent that has a slight herbal note to it. It's so fresh, so clean, so beautiful. I absolutely adore it and um i like to have it on hand buddy oh my goodness your snores <laughs> so this is it you guys this is my entire kringle 
candle collection. So um, again, I feel a lot more comfortable just sort of purchasing as I consume them and need more. I don't feel the need to stock up on these. So um, yeah. And Kringle has some really fantastic sales, so um, that's always nice to be able to um, get a good deal and save a little bit of money. I will say it, it takes it takes a little while. These candles do ship from Massachusetts to me, so um, usually if I need something, I try to order it like before I really need it, because <laughs> I know it'll probably be at least a week and a half to two weeks before I get my order. So, but that's what I get for um, living uh, at the end of the Oregon Trail in Oregon. So anyway, you guys, um, I hope that this video was helpful. And um, yeah, let me know what you have in your Kringle backup stash. Let me know how you like to store your candles. Um, and just leave your philosophy on candle shopping and repurchasing and, you know, whatever else down below in the comments. Um, thanks so much for taking the time to watch today, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.